Hi, my name is Melissa DeSantis. I am a broker associate and managing broker for eXp Realty. And in this video, I am going to talk about Manalip in New Jersey, what it's like to live here, the pros, the cons, and everything I can share with you about living in Manalapan. So first off, I live in Manalapan. And although I was not born or I didn't grow up here, I actually grew up in Utah, I consider Manalip in my home. I have lived here for a little over 10 years and it is where I'm raising my children, Nicholas and Gabriella, who are now 11, and just cannot imagine myself living anywhere else. Manalapin is located in Monmouth County and there are a little over 40,000 residents. You can break Manalapan down into really three sections. You have Northern Manalapan, Southern Manalapan, and you have English Town. They all share the same, same zip code, which is 07726. English Town, though, is its own municipality, and you will find that in English Town, you're going to be able to get homes at a lower price, and your taxes are going to be lower in English Town than they are in either Southern or Northern Manalapan. Residents here consider Southern Manalapan to be anything that is close or across the other side of Route 33. And in Southern Manalapan, you will find the homes tend to be larger as well as the lot sizes. It's not unusual in Southern Manalapan to have a home on a one acre lot or larger. Also, the home prices in Southern Manalapan tend to be a little bit less and you get more for your money. The reason being is that you're further away from commuting to New York City. If you live in Southern Manalapan, you're probably going to take Route 33 and get on the New Jersey Turnpike at exit eight. And you're further away from food stores, shopping, um, small things like that. Also in Southern Manalapan, you are most likely going to have septic and well versus public utilities. Now in Northern Manalapan, because it's a little bit quicker to New York City and closer to the food stores and more restaurants and things like that, you're going to tend to pay more for a home than you are in Southern Manalapan. Homes in, in Northern Manalapan also tend to be on smaller lots and they're not septic and well. In Northern Manalapan, you're most likely going to get public utilities. If you are commuting or traveling to New York City from Northern Manalapan, you're most likely going to take Route 9 for about 11 miles or so and that is going to take you to the Garden State Parkway. Throughout the past few years, Manalapan has really become a desirable place to live. We have so many people moving here from Brooklyn and Staten Island and the New York area. So if you do move to, to Manalapan, it's highly likely many of your neighbors are going to be from the New York area. Manalapan borders Freehold Township and Marlboro. So if you're looking as a home buyer in Manalapan, it's quite common that you're also going to be looking in the neighboring towns of Freehold and Marlboro. So what makes Manalapan such a desirable place to live? Well, first of all, you have location. You can get to both New York City and Philadelphia within about an hour, and you have quick and easy access to some of the most beautiful beaches in our area, such as Belmar, Point Pleasant, Manasquan, Spring Lake, etc. So being in the middle of both the beaches and the city, you're getting the best of both worlds. Also in Manalapan, you live in the suburbs, but you still have access to so much to do. You're very close to the Freehold Wasteway Mall. You're not far from the Minlo Mall and you have the Jackson outlets. You also have the Jersey Shore outlets in Tenton Falls and Manalapan also has a Wegmans, Target, Home Goods, Home Sense, Five Below, and they even have little boutique style shops. 
Manalapan is home to Sportica, which is a sports venue, a very large sports venue, and it has one of the largest turf fields within New Jersey. So you have a lot of sporting events going on at Sportica. From an elephant, you're also not far to Six Flags Great Adventure and Hurricane Harbor. Depending on where you live, it's only about 15 to 20 minutes. So that's something that a lot of residents do. They buy season passes for their children, for their family, and you can go numerous times throughout the year. Another plus approach to an elephant are the schools are highly rated. First of all, you have a full day kindergarten with which the parents love. For elementary, you have five schools, and one of those schools, Clark, Clark Mills, actually was just recognized as a blue ribbon school. So your kids go to one school for kindergarten, and then they will attend one of the five elementary schools based upon where you live through from first grade through fifth grade. Upon graduating fifth grade, all of the kids from that class go to Primebrook. And Pine Brook is for sixth graders only. It's preparing them for middle school and high school. And it gives them the opportunity to get to know all the kids from the five elementary schools. Pine Brook offers teams and your child will be assigned to one of the six teams at Pine Brook. Once they graduate from Pine Brook, they go on to the Manalapan English Town Middle School or as we call it here, MIMS. And MIMS is for kids in grades seventh and eighth grade. Once they graduate MIMS, they go on to the Freehold Regional High School District. The Freehold Regional High School District consists of six schools. And those schools are Manalapan, Freehold Township, Freehold Borough, Hal, Marlboro, and Colts Neck. And what makes this such a special program is the Freehold Regional High School District offers 12 specialized magnet programs that children can apply to. Let me give you an example. Manalapan's specialty is science and engineering. But if your child is passionate about business, they can apply to the Marlboro High School, which their specialty is business administration. And if your child is accepted, then they will go to the Marlboro High School, even though they live in Manalapan, throughout their four years of high school. Residents love the opportunities that the Manalapan schools have to offer. In Manalapan, we also have a recreation center and football games, soccer games are played there. You have a track. The, in the summer, they have a summer camp and they have running trails, and in the summer they also have a splash pad. It's just a beautiful recreation center and has so much to offer for all of the residents. Throughout the almost 15 years that I have been in the business, I have continued to see the home prices in Manalapan increase. It is not uncommon for a nice, well-maintained home to come on the market and, when with, and within days have numerous offers. The homes sell quickly here and many times they sell above the listed price. There truly are so many advantages and pluses to living here in Manalapan. And like I said in the beginning, I just can't imagine living anywhere else. But of course, there always are cons to things. And although there aren't many, there are a few to living here in Manalapan. Like I said earlier, the homes here tend to sell quickly. So it can be a challenge to get into the town and get into the town at an affordable price. You also have the property taxes. When I moved into Manalapan a little over 10 years ago, I was paying about $9,000 in property taxes. Now, 10 years later, my property taxes are over $13,000. So taxes are not cheap here in Manalapan, but the advantage that you do have is the schools are great and you don't have to worry about sending your children to private school. Another con to living here in Manalapan can be the rules you have to follow with the township. If you are doing work to your home, getting a new AC, furnace, roof, finishing your basement, you're going to need a permit and you're going to have to go to the township, pay for the permit, and they're going to have to come out and inspect. And it can be somewhat sometimes a daunting process. 
Also, if you're going to do any improvements to your backyard, such as you want to put in a pool, a fence, a shed, pavers, a deck, you're also here in Manalapan going to need a permit and you're going to have to, again, pay for the permit, go through the process and go through the township to get that approved in order to do the work and make improvements both to the inside of your home and the exterior of your home. So for me personally, that can be a little bit of a con to living here in Manalapan because it sometimes can get frustrating going through the process. A few other things about living here in Manalapan that may not be so desirable is the cost of living tends to be higher and you do have to deal with traffic at times, especially when you're going up and down Route 9. Give yourself extra time because when there's traffic, it can drive you crazy. <laughs> Lastly, some people feel that Manalapan residents can be somewhat uppity or snooty. I personally don't feel or see it that way. You come across all types of people here in Manalapan and my children have made amazing friendships growing up here in Manalapan. Overall, I feel the pros definitely outweigh the cons to living here in Manalapan. Again, my name is Melissa DeSantis, Broker Associate with EXP Realty Central Jersey. Thank you for allowing me to share this information with you about my town, Manalapan.